Icy roads and an unseasonably early winter storm brought snow, rain and dangerous winds to the U.S. Northeast on Wednesday, bringing fresh misery to those whose lives have been disrupted by massive Hurricane Sandy last week. I'm kind of laughing about it at this point. It's unbelievable to go from like a hurricane to a nor'easter and driving in the snow. I mean, in the same week or the same 10 days, it's, uh, it's pretty unbelievable. Freezing temperatures were a fresh worry for residents left without power. Just getting around is tough. Having no power is a pain in the ass. My parents are out in Roslyn. They have no power either. So just keeping everybody warm and getting food. Another 60,000 homes and businesses lost power in the storm, joining more than 640,000 customers that remained in the dark after Sandy. New York distributed space heaters and blankets to residents without heat or power and opened shelters to those in need of a warm place to sleep. The storm brought wind gusts of up to 60 miles per hour and was expected to drop three to five inches of snow on New York City with up to twice that much hitting northern suburbs.